everyone yeah, welcome back in our today's class and um <clears throat> in our class today i am going to be taking us through circle theorems uh, of course we have done a lot of work already in circle and its properties the sectors of a circle perimeter of a sector area of a sector length of a code and code properties and a lot of exercises we have done on that already so in those previous classes you can check out those you know examples we've done because they are very very rich and uh, i'm trusting god that if you check out on those classes you will not regret that all right as we are delving into circle properties i mean uh, circle theorems we are going to have a lot of work to do and i'm saying that so that you can be able to you know stay with us because we are going to share a lot of knowledge you know uh, in this class we are going to take all right the first theorem we want to start with is the theorem that says the angle which a chord subtends at the center of the circle is twice the angle which is subtends at any other point at the circumference of the circle is um it's a common theorem anyway and uh, i know you know there are several ways one can be able to prove that theorem but i want to start from the scratch so that you see i didn't put up any diagram there so you are going to follow from the beginning to the end of it so that you can be able to testify or see clearly the rudiments the intricate aspects of this theorem so that you can learn together the first thing i'm going to do is i will put up a diagram that will help me to be able to start the explanation okay so if i have a circle like this if i have a circle like this That's the center. Okay. Right. We have this circle and um, the angle which a chord subtends at the center of the circle. So we are going to have a chord here. Yeah. And then we connect to the center. We we'll join this and this, the two, this radius and this radius. I will label here, let's say A, let's say this is O. Let's assume a hair, the second friends. Okay. Will this be long enough to collect this? Okay, yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, now I have A, B, C. Okay, A, B, C. Uh -huh. And then um, I will quickly start my description. Okay. I say a a circle a circle a b c with center with center o okay required to prove required to prove that Required to prove that A O C A O C is two times A B C two times A B C. This is the angle with the cos of sense at the center of the circle is two times angle which is of sense at the center of uh, I mean uh, 
at any other point on the circumference of the circle. So that is what we are trying to show. Okay. Construction. Construction. Join. Join BO. That line BO. And produce it. Produce it. To point. Uh, to point. To point. Uh, let's call that place T. So I will do that. Okay, let me call it here. Here, let me call it T. Okay, I'm sure we saw that. Okay, if we do that, there is there is something that just happened. You know, there's something that just happened. This is the center of the circle, center O. You will observe with me. Let me call here this angle here A, and call this angle here B. Do we get? Uh -huh. So, and let me call this angle here, x2, this one here, x1, this one here, y2, and this one here, y1. Okay? So, you will observe with me by what I am seeing in that diagram now you observe with me by what i'm seeing in this diagram now that that a o hmm? this a o okay is equals to o c o c and it is also equals to b o it's also equals to B O, and that is radii, radii, because this is a radius joining circumference and center. This is another radius, and this is another radius. Did you see that? Fine. You will also notice with me that uh, from triangle, this one. This one now, this triangle B O A or A O B from triangle A O B from that triangle A O B, you will notice with me that X one is equals to X two. Did you notice that? Why? Why is this so? Because this line is equals to this line, and that makes this to become an isosceles triangle. And base angles of isosceles triangles are equal. So I will back it up here by saying in this triangle, x1 is equal to x2. That is base, base angles of isosceles triangles are equal. Okay, that is what I will use to back it up. Okay. Now, there is another thing I would also like to point out there. Did you also notice that also that A, this angle A, is equals to x1 plus x2? Oh, that this angle A is equals to x1 plus x2. Why? The theorem that backs that up is a standard angle of a triangle. Look at this. A standard angle of a triangle. Hmm? This is a standard. And this is x1. And this is x2. A standard angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of two opposite interior angles. That's the reason why we say that this A is equal to x1, 
x1 plus x2. So a is equals to x1 plus x2 backed up by the theorem that exterior exterior i'm using abbreviation here exterior angles exterior angle is one exterior angle of a triangle please take note of these abbreviations i'm using here exterior angle of a triangle equals sum of two opposite opposite this is opposite interior interior this is interior angles okay so that is that now something also came up you will also permit me by this conclusion you will also permit me you will also permit me to write this a a to be equals to two let me say x2 or x1 as the case may be knowing fully well that x1 is equal to x2 so i can say that a is equal to 2x2 i'm sure that is very very taken x1 is equal to x2 like 30 degrees this is 30 degrees this is 30 degrees so 30 plus 30 is 60 so i can write it as 2 times 30 i'm sure that the explanation is okay all right i have been able to get this I will go to the next triangle. I will say also in triangle, this one, B, O, C, this one, in triangle B, O, C, you will notice also there that Y1 is equal to Y2. You also back it up by these angles of isosceles triangle are equal because why is it isosceles bo is equals to oc you can see that it's isosceles and then you can see with me again like i described here that b is equals to y1 plus y2 can we see that yeah you can also back it up with the theorem that exterior angle of a triangle equals sum of two two opposite interior angle okay two opposite interior angle so i can write b equals to y uh rather two 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 y two two y two of course i can write two y one they are still the same thing okay so you can see the conclusion we had here and the conclusion we have had here now let's bring them together let's bring them together see whether we can have something to in common so if i say but but if i say but a plus b is equals to 2x plus 2y. I'm not wrong. I'm not wrong. I'm not wrong. So I can say that a plus b is equals to 2 in bracket x. That is x2, y2, y2 here. Okay. Or just x and y. x2 plus y2. Okay. We just choose to maintain the labeling we have used in the diagram. Okay. So a plus b is equals to 2 in bracket i think uh, it's going to be repetition here let me clean this line and just have this so a plus b is equals to 2 in bracket x2 plus uh, y2 so what is a plus b this is a and this is b so if you look closely you realize that a plus b is equal to this angle a o c a o c that is angle at the center of the circle so i will write it here that this is a o c equals to two times what is x2 plus x y2 this is x2 and this is y2 and that is a b 
C. A, B, C. Now, do you realize that where we started from, we said we want to show that this angle AOC, which is AOC, angle at this center, is twice angle at the circumference, which is ABC, which is ABC. Okay? So you can see how we started and how we were able to draw our conclusion. You can see that. So this is how to prove the theorem that says or states that the angle which a chord subtends at the center of a circle is twice the angle which the chord subtends at any other point on the circumference of the circle. I'm trusting God that this diagram and this explanation was able to give us every information we need in understanding this theorem. Please remember, we, after proving, we have up to seven of them to show. When we are done with these theorems, this is angle at the center and angle at the circumference. And we are looking, we're going to look at angle in the semicircle. We're going to look at opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral, the standard angle of a cyclic quadrilateral, opposite, uh, uh, opposite interior angle. And uh, we are also going to look at angle between a tangent and a chord. So these theorems, we are going to show them before we start using them. Okay. Now, it is good you stay with us so that you can be able to understand the theorems. Then, when we start using them in application, you can also see and understand what we are doing. Thank you so much for being there. Please share this video to someone there, okay, who definitely will be in need of it. And as we are putting our efforts to make impact in the society, be of encouragement to us by when you finish watching this video. You click on the subscription button okay you click on the subscription button and like our video and also share to your friends out there thank you for doing that